Hi, it's Martin from Steffi Bull Promotions. Um, as you can see, in front of us, we've got Ray and Lee Appleyard, meaning no more Zoom, uh, which my uh, computer skills was probably always letting me down anyway. Um, next Saturday, the night's finally come. Uh, I know we've had a couple of opportunities that have, that have basically one with COVID, one where there was an opponent and then it got pulled. Um, but next Saturday, Lee Appleyard versus Dalton Smith for the English title. Um, a lot of people out there know yourself, a lot of people know Dalton. Um, how do you feel about the fight, Lee? It's, it's a cracking fight for fans. Um, everyone's really looking forward to it, which obviously they know why, they know what I'm going to bring. Dalton's obviously one of the next uh, British biggest rising prospects. Um, and it's a big, big fight for me. It's not even just about the English title. I know if I beat Dalton, I'm going places. So um, I've prepared fantastically for it and I'm uh, ready now. Well, it's been, I think it was, two, was it two, two years November since the last time you was out? Yeah, about 18 months. About 18, but you've been in quite a few, not quite a few, but you've been in a couple of camps in, yeah, because you've had uh, the, the first Dalton fight, which got... Uh, postponed. Well, firstly, I had our fight in the 20th of March um, um, on the, one of Steffi Bull promotions, and that got pulled two days before when the COVID burst hit. And then, obviously, then I stayed in the gym, um, hoping it were all going to come back. We didn't really know much about it, obviously, with the first lockdown. And then um, there were another couple of opportunities, October, November time. And, and then, obviously, I got the fight um, for February. So I've been in the gym all the time. Um, so I've been ticking over. and. It's finally come around now, so I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And look, <coughs> we spoke to Jace. Um, we spoke to Jace earlier. Uh, the fact is, you're in the same kind of uh, the same night with Terry, the same night with um, with Jace Cunningham, yourself. It's the family is basically all there on one night, which is going to be something special. Yeah, I was joking saying it's bully's bubble. Like right? it's, <laughs> it's literally all um, all our fight. Half half the shows our fighters really when you break it down. Um, so that's going to bring a really good atmosphere. Um, the bubbles are cracking as well from with match room. We've got your ping pong and your um, your pool table. And we'll all be having a crack and a good laugh. Um, but come um, Saturday night, it'll be all um, all serious, and we'll be there to get to get the jobs done. And I'm very, very, very confident there's going to be three victories and uh, massive upsets on um, on Saturday night next week. <coughs> that's what you said. Um, got going on to the fight against Dalton. Um, Dalton is, uh, let's not lie, uh, basically touted as one of the best prospects coming up. So, like you said, you beat Dalton, you get the English title, um, you're upsetting the uh, Eddie and Apple cart for, for for the start. So it's it's such a great task. Um, what kind of um, what kind of fight do you think it's going to be with Dalton? Because he's obviously watched you when you fought uh, Ben Fields in your last fight. Um, do you think he's going to change his strat strategy to, to basically, because your work rate right, is, is phenomenal? Yeah, look, people know what I bring, um, but at the end of the day, um, Dalton knows I'm an experienced fighter, um, so yeah, he might change, he might come out differently, might, we don't know what he's going to come out like, but we we prepared very well in here, and whatever he brings, we'll be ready for, um, and he's, he better be ready for me, because... One thousand percent. This I have no excuses. This is by far the best camp I have ever had. It's the best shape I've ever been in, physically, mentally, everything. Um, and although this is most definitely probably my hardest fight, I've got more confident we're in this and winning than any other fight I've ever been in. And people might find that strange to believe, but that that's my own self belief for this fight. And as long as I've got my own self belief, that's that's all I need for this fight. What do you think the difference is going to be fighting without fans? Uh, because I know I've been to your shows uh, and your fans are <laughs> loud, uh, as, as it says, and uh, sometimes they'll kind of bring you through the 11th and 12th rounds. Um, have you been kind of doing any different training, like when you've been when you've been in, knowing that the fact is you're going to be fighting with no fans? When you say no fans, you're going to have you're going to have all the bubble there anyway, so yeah. they're going to be screaming you on. But do you think it's going to be any different? Uh, no difference whatsoever for me. Um, we we spar. I've sparred. I've been sparring more in the last fifteen months than I were actually fighting. And let's be fair, there's not been any fights, so it's quite atmosphere when you're sparring. So it'd be no different than the sparring atmosphere. Um, I spar well, and at the end of the day, I know you say like my fans bring me through. They don't. I bring myself through. It's my own 
um, desire and determination and what I want and thing. Yeah, the fans cheering me on, obviously. Sometimes they can be a bad influence sometimes in the respect that obviously I might do a bit too much when I don't need to do it. Um, I've got um, Ray and Steffi in my corner. They're going to be giving me my advice. They're the only two people I'm going to be listening to, obviously, on the night. And um, I have I have every bit of faith in these guys that will tell me what I need to do and will come out victorious. Right, <coughs> going on to you. Um, one of the one of the popular faces on TV at the moment. Uh, just come back from Barcelona with Gav. Been on the MTK shows. Um, Saturday night, Lee Appleyard versus Dalton Smith. Um, a lot of people out there will turn around and say, "Oh, this is going to be another one of Dalton, another victory for Dalton." We all know that it's it's not going to be easy for sure, and there's a big possibility that Lee's going to win. Um, you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited for Lee. We're under no uh, disillusion uh, as uh, our good Dalton is. Seen him up close a lot. I like the guys, but this is just business. This is the boxing business, and that's what it is. It, it's, uh, it's a South Yorkshire derby, so it's fantastic for South Yorkshire fight fans. It's fantastic for everybody who's going to be watching because uh, it's going to be a fantastic fight. The, it's down for me and Steffi to pick away at holes and little things. No fight is made with her, no fight is complete. Do you know what I mean? Uh, of, of course, Dalton is as talented as what he is, but there's so many things that Lee has got over him and it's a, it's a clash and it's if, we, if we're going to get him, we're going to get him at the right time, do you know what I mean? And stuff like that. Lee's a high level championship fighter, it, it, there's, there's no questions about anything that Lee uh, has to do in the fight, it regards as stamina, regards as this, regards as a lot of other things. Uh, it's it's a fight where Lee's got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Really, the the, the pressure is, in my opinion, is on Dalton because of the hype surrounding him. Uh, I've seen what Lee's been working on with Steffi, working uh, been working alongside whoever else and things, and the work that I'm seeing is fantastic. And it's it's all about Lee bringing it into the uh, arena on the night to show people that. Hang on a minute, he's in a proper fight here. Do you know what I mean? And and I, and I do I do believe that the fans are going to be the winners because they're both exceptional fighters and <laughs> it, all, all right m may have got different styles, but them styles will certainly gel at some point in that fight. He ain't going to get somebody what's just going to walk over and or or come and get the paydays or whatever or however Dalton's career's kind of got this kid's a little bit tougher a little bit sharper a little bit lot more hungrier and desire and he's got dangerous hands on him as well and these will be questions for him to ask I don't care who you are if anybody's got little eight ounce gloves with no head guards on sometimes a fight can go either way do you know what I mean we're, we're not under no disillusion we know Lee's going to be a big underdog in this fight but nobody believes more than us we, we, we're, we're prepared to we're prepared for Lee to put it all all on the line, and, and obviously Lee is. He's, he's, you tell me another fighter who wants to face Dalton Smith. That should tell everything that, that what's about Lee. Not a question asked. Get me him and I'll fight him. And that's what a proper fighting man does. And then you'll see when they get in that ring that this is a proper fight. And uh, I think the fans are in for a real treat. May the best man win. And. Good luck to them both, but they both come out safe. I think, <coughs> I think like you just said, um, not many people want to fight Dalton Smith. Um, I think lockdown has been, uh, well, COVID-19 has been the worst thing that we've probably ever witnessed. The one thing it has done is brought fights that probably wouldn't have happened um, if, if, if there wasn't lockdown. I don't think Lee versus Dalton would have happened this soon if it wasn't for the situation that we've been brought into. So... Uh, and there's been that many fights. Look at James Tennyson last week. In, in, you, there's been that many upsets, and this is the reason because there's more, there's more and more fights that probably shouldn't happen, but are happening because that they're the only ones, they the only ones that they can get. The, fan, the fans need delivering, don't they? And, and uh, risk needs to be taken. And it's it's all down to uh, how people can handle the situation of the bubble as well. It's. Uh, it's a strange scenario. Some fighters can get up for it, some fighters can't. Yeah, Dalton's had a little bit of experience in the end. He's probably got bags of experience over uh, 
Lee when it comes to these type uh, WSB type fights and things like that, what he's been involved in as an amateur and stuff where there's not many people about and things in these arenas but he's travelling all over the world and stuff like that. But Lee, Lee, Lee's got the edge on Dalton in, in some aspects, do you know what I mean? The championship round when he gets really dogged down and dirty and, and, and you maybe you can't hold your skill set together as much because the fatigue's kicking in and the fight's getting rough and the fight this is professional boxing and down the stretch it can get tough and it can get hard and and we'll, we'll, we'll find out we'll find out there's questions to be answered on on both sides but we're, we're a team and we all we all believe that we can overcome things we're, we're not deluded to think that it's a walking park but we're a, we're a team what uh, ultimately believes in Lee's ability to become a tall weight English champion. This is this is what he's trained so hard for. He's, he's, he's not coming in here half hard and going, I just want a paycheck body but he's not that type of kid. This kid will wear his heart on his sleeve and he, he's, a, he's an ultimate desire to win and that is that is uh, something to behold when you go in it when when a young prospect is going into a fight when you've got a kid who's determined and hungry determined to not just lay down this this kid's got the desire to turn his life around with a massive shock win now and i, I certainly can't wait uh, one question is though um, there is a ping pong table here um has this been brought because of what's going to go on in the bubble uh for next next saturday is it going to be <laughs> are you going to be taking your table tennis skills to another level in fact, everything I've just said about Lee, Lee I take it all back because he whips me on that table tennis every time. So, yeah, that table tennis is my worst nightmare. We're looking to take over the full bubble. Table tennis, ping pong, um, your pool, your darts. We're going to take over I like over it, I like it. Yeah. <coughs> um, Lee, next Saturday, um, all the Steffi uh, promotion followers, uh, all your fans, all the UK boxing fans, worldwide fans, what are they going to see next Saturday? They're going to see a cracking performance. Best performance of me, that's 1,000%. We have got the fight at three weeks' notice last time. We went in. I believed I was going to get a good go. Having had nine weeks training, I believe I'm going to win. It's as simple as that. Um, it's going to be a cracking performance. Um, I'm not laying down for nobody. And um, tuning, I think it'll steal the show. I do, and that's no disrespect to any of the other fights on the show. Um, I, I do think it'll steal the show. I, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve all the time. Fantastic. Thank you very much for letting us come to the gym. No problem. Cheers, Matt.